Hello everybody, it's Friday and that means it's FNA Friday and today we're going to talk about part two of taking your shot to the next level. One of the classic assignments is a sit down. A character just stands and then sits down. Sometimes there's a variation of a character sits and gets up. But a sit down assignment is something that I give to my students a lot. And I usually get kind of a groan of oh, just a sit down really is kind of boring. But to me, there's so much you can do. A, it shows big variations in character posing from standing to sitting. And the weight aspect of someone getting down and sitting, you can change so many aspects of that in terms of A, the character in general, is it a skinny person, a heavy person? Is the character tired? You can start adding layers of someone being drunk, being tired, being whatever or the properties of the chair or the object that the character is sitting on. So there's so many ways to take that assignment and then escalate that into something more complex. And that's just in terms of the body mechanics. But on top of that, you can add character. So is the person in a hurry to get somewhere to grab the phone and call because they are missing their loved ones or it's a job application and they don't know if they're gonna get hired or not. There's so many objectives that you can add to a character on top of just the general sit down assignment. And sometimes you can just make something funny. So in this example of this Instagram post, the kid is sitting down, that's technically your assignment, but then what happens after that is interesting because he sits down on the luggage holds on to the handrail that then pulls him forward. It's a funny character moment of a kid that is, you can go either lazy or very intelligent and problem solving and how he wants to go from A to B. But it shows how you can take technically just a sit down assignment and make that into a character piece. To me, this is more about the kid being smart and clever or whatever attribute you want to add to that and not about a sit down. This just happens to show a character sitting down, but it's more about what is the character doing in this situation to go from A to B because he or she doesn't want to walk. And that's the main idea of this series is to what can you do in terms of how you can take a shot and make it not an exercise, but make it more a character piece where the character does something and it happens to be a sit down. It happens to be a jump, happens to be a weight assignment, a gear change, all those things where it becomes secondary action. It's more about the character. What do we learn about the character? And a great example for a sit down are these character studies from Big Hero 6. There are a lot of characters. These are longer shots. They might be potentially too long for students to take on, but the variety of it and the complexities and the interesting aspects of how each character enters the room, takes the chair, sits down, how they sit down. Do they fail in sitting down? Do they slip? Do they grab an object? Is there a prop that it can interact with? There are so many ways where you can make this sit down interesting based on the character size, the current state of mind, how clumsy they are. And of course, you can escalate that even more where it's one character sitting down with all the things that we saw because they want to talk to another character. There's more urgency because of some sort of relationship that forms and so on and so on. You can add more and more and more to the shot to make this more complex. But the overall idea to me is that you want to take an exercise and make it more about the character. What does he or she feel? What's their objective? Do they want something? Is there a conflict? Do they want to go from A to B or do they want something, but there is something in their way? How are they going to react to that problem? That's going to be an FNA in the future all about conflict and how conflict exposes character. But you can take all those elements and mix and match them into one awesome shot that goes from exercise to something advanced and something more character based and something that resembles more of a shot that you would see in the movie and not a sanitary clean shot of the character standing as I always say in an empty room where it doesn't really apply to anything you would see in the movie because the hope is also that not only are you taking the shot to the next level but you're also practicing to have the character be aware and interact with the environment and other characters like in a movie like if you take a shot in a movie where the character has to be mindful of the environment and there is a before and after there is a character within a greater context with greater bigger picture so this series again are a reminder that you can make it more complicated not just to be complicated but to make it more interesting to add more character and for you to be a challenge to animate something that goes beyond just an exercise and thinking beyond that how would that apply to a company that i want to work for is that something that they do in their style What's the animation style? What are you, the usual characters that they use? Kind of the character traits and acting choices. So all those things can prepare you and it's something for you to practice towards your end goal if your end goal is to work for a company or if you want to make your own short movie or feature film. All in all, the through line is character. As we are trying to be character animators, you don't just want to animate, you want to add character to 
your character. And that's something that I always talk about in class and I know a lot of students are always somewhat tired of hearing that because it's something so easy for me to say and it's so hard to do for people working on those shots that someone did this. And there's another meme, but that is also a future FNA, how to add character. But for now, I'm gonna leave it at that. If you like this, give this a like. If you like to get notified about future uploads, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button to get all the full notifications of all my uploads. And as always, if you watch the whole thing till the very end, thank you very much for taking the time to do so. And if you don't wanna watch anything at all, I do have a podcast and I'm gonna upload all those lessons and ideas and topics. So now it's really goodbye. I will either see you next week or you can hear me through the podcast.